everyone, it's Naomi here and I am doing my weekly weigh-in. I know I didn't do one actually last week, but it was election week and let's be honest, I think everybody was kind of wanting to see how that all turned out. I'm not sure if you were the winner or the loser on that, but let's not comment on it. Let's just move on. The one good thing that I see out of this whole election is that California now is going to be a pot smoking state. So I will be looking that much skinnier that much sooner because everybody's going to look bloated and fat from getting high. Let's be real. I think people are going to be getting a little chunkier as a whole. So I'm going to be looking better and better that much quicker. Okay. It's a joke, people. Be nice. Anyway, so right now I am 10.3 pounds down. Today is day 21 of my diet and it's going well. Um, I think the vegetables have definitely made a big difference in uh, what my goals are, things like that, um, in, in staying with it, I will admit that it's a little hard to not get the fruits. Um, that's probably my biggest thing, but um, typically my biggest time to eat fruit is in the summer. So I kind of was doing the math and I really want to at least lose 40 pounds. That's a lot of weight for me. I've never um, had to do that all at once. I've lost probably thousands of pounds over the years, but uh, that that's a lot of weight. Uh, that's my, my first goal. We'll see how that goes. Um, that's what I want to lose. 40, 40 more pounds from today's date. So if I continue to keep losing at the rate I am losing right now, I think I did the math and I would some, be somewhere around the, the six month mark, which would be in May, which would be really nice because my birthday's in May and I would love to look fantastic for my birthday, you know, in my bikini right here, right here. Um, so I don't know. We'll see if I can keep with it. I'm hoping I, I can. It's kind of like AA and NA, uh, except mine's what Eaters Anonymous, that it's one day at a time, one day at a time. Um, I've learned some things, uh, little TMI things. One thing is, is that, uh, sweets never, uh, come without a price and that includes the Jukin diet. Uh, I found that sugar alcohol is not your best friend in large quantities and I'll, I'll leave that to your imagination and you can go ahead and Google the reason why. Um, yes, so I was really craving sugar one day and I had at it with some sugar-free stuff. There's quite a few sugar-free, Dukin friendly, uh, sugary chocolates and candies out there, um, but too many will leave you uh, quite a nightmare. Um, so <laughs> I've learned that maybe I'll be taking a break from the sugary sweets. So I guess there's always a price for sweets, regardless of how you intake them, sugar-free or otherwise. Um, so I just have to be very careful with that, that I, uh, keep my servings down because you will get a friendly reminder of why you cannot have a lot of it. Um, so I've been kind of working outside of the the box, uh, if you'll say, um, one thing that you're allowed to have is you're allowed to have non-fat cheeses and non-fat cream cheeses and all of those different things. So I got to try um, making jalapeno poppers wrapped in um, turkey bacon, and it was actually amazing. So that was one thing that I could have that I did as kind of like an advertiser for the, the family that they weren't aware of was part of my Duke and Diet, but allowed me to kind of participate without them really being you know, bothered by my diet. So that was kind of fun. I tried a uh, cauliflower pizza. Don't let anyone lie to you. Um, that tastes nothing like pizza. No, mm -mm. cauliflower does not ever taste like pizza dough. I I'm here to tell you, break the news to you. Um, it was not good, not good. But, um, you know, to each their own. Maybe if you're vegan, you might might enjoy it. I don't know, but it was pretty bad to me. It tasted like cauliflower with cheese on it, but not in a good way. It wasn't good. Anyway, but I had to try it because, you know, I'm trying to work on my way outside of the box and make things and try things that are Duke and friendly. So that was one I got to scratch off the, the list. So I would say, though, that cauliflower could possibly be somewhat of a 
if you really wanted mashed potatoes, I guess you could probably flavor it enough to where you would at least think the consistency was pot mashed potatoes. I mean, the taste is still cauliflower, but you can salt it. There's actually, um, because butter is one thing you can't really have on the Dukin diet, which is kind of sad. I really like butter, um, but you can get um, butter extract, which has no calories in it, and it will give that butter flavoring to things, which is really nice if you are just kind of wanting that butter taste. So um, I, I bought some of that, and I used it in a couple of different things that I've made with vegetables, and it's really made a big difference just putting a few little drops in the pan when I'm cooking. It just gives that smell of the butter, and I think it's mind over matter as far as that goes. Because um, you, you know, you can still cook and everything, and when you, you know, I, I personally put salt on my things. Dukin does not recommend using salt, but I'm, um, you know, give and take here. We're not giving up everything. Salt is staying in my diet. So when I salt, pepper, uh, season things, and I put just a couple of drops of that butter, it really, I don't know, it almost tricks your senses to feel like you're having this really decadent food that's bad for you, even though it's really not. So it, it has helped. So if you are doing the Duke and Diet, I recommend uh, getting it. None of the grocery stores had it, so I ended up ordering it off of Amazon, and I got like a pretty good sized jar of it like this for like seven dollars. And really only you need like two drops in a whole pan of food, and it will kind of take over from there. So if you are looking for that smell, like uh, I use vanilla extract a lot too with my coffee. I use creamer and coffee and then I'll put like a tiny bit of sucralose um, or stevia I should say in it just enough to take that sweetness off. The one thing that I've started drinking is um, that I've really enjoyed is club soda, the Canada Dry Club Soda and then Dasani makes these like little things to add to your water. Um, they're just drops, they're zero calories. I got the pink lemonade one this time to try. That was the first one I ever tried. And I will just put like a few tiny little drops in the club soda just to kind of flavor it a little bit. And it keeps it at zero calories. Cause I'm not, I tried to, uh, you know, diet seven up and it was just too sweet for me. I didn't, I didn't like the taste of it. So I want there to be like some kind of a flavor to it, but I really rather it not be sweet. So I really enjoyed I've been enjoying that. So when I feel like I really want a soda, um, I'll make one of those and it's been really satisfying to me personally. Um, what else? Just just trying to adapt, trying to do my best. Um, I made a pumpkin pie without the crust. I don't know if I said that last week. It turned out really good. Tasted just like pumpkin pie. You just didn't have the crust. Um, I did see a recipe on how to make icing, so I might make like a icing. Um, and using Hanlo, which is more of like a, a sweetened vegetable or fruit. I don't, it can't be a fruit. I don't know what it is, but it's a sweetener too that you can use. Dukin Diet uses a lot and I noticed their box things because I did buy um, two boxes of their muffins because I'm going to try that because you do have to have that oat bran every single day. So um, I was going to try their muffins to see what exactly they tasted like. Oh shoot, hang on, I gotta pick up my, my water bottle just fell over. Okay, sorry about that. So um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm happy to see 10 pounds in 21 days, three weeks. That's pretty good. Um, would I rather be done? Of course I would, but you know, six months definitely sounds like a long time, but at least it's a lot of the winter time and um, I don't know. I don't really crave a lot of pastas and things. Like um, my husband loves it. I, if I did ever eat a pasta dish, it was more than likely it was a um, white pasta dish, which I'm sure that if I really wanted something like that, I could make the white sauce and make it for you know my meat. I just uh, either won't use any noodles, or I will try the shiitake. Um, noodles which I haven't been brave enough to try. Um, someone ha was telling me on Instagram that I can dry them really well before I use them. Um, I just haven't gotten the nerve yet. I'm a little, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous of that one. So, um, you know, that's, that's where we are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway. Now, 
I know I told you guys that I was going to do those wristbands every single month. I'm going to skip it this month because I sent one to the winner last month and it got shipped back to me. It got jammed really bad and it looked really bad so I went ahead and ordered her another one and if you're watching this it is on its way and it should be there tomorrow to you. I apologize for that. Um, so I don't know what's going on, why those aren't, why it didn't ship. I don't know if it just was my post office because my post office ver is very angry when they ship things. Um, they sent tend to squish my boxes a lot and things like that. They just, they're not a very happy post office. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a $20 gift certificate this time, a gift card to Amazon. That way I can just send you the code via email and it'll go out to you that day and I don't have to worry about it not going in the mail. Um, I think that you can get a, the um, tracker the sketcher tracker for about $25 uh, depending 25 to probably $35 on Amazon uh, if you want the Skechers one or you can buy another one there's quite a few that are under $20 so I figured the $20 was right about the right amount um, so that you could purchase one I wanted to do it on this particular um, video because I feel like you know sometimes it's hard to stay inspired when you're trying to lose weight and you know that's what this this process for me is to, is to try to stay inspired to try to keep motivated um, and you know it's easy for me to be motivated right now I'm only 21 days in you know I hope to be on this in four months and still going strong and that's what my goal is um, I hope you guys are doing well let's see what should we do as our comment below I don't want any politics in there I don't want anything like that I think it's a time to heal and be happy and just uh, you know control our own destinies so let's see um tell me one thing that you like about yourself you can actually let's do it tell me three things you like about yourself one is not enough tell me three things that you like about yourself I think it's a good a thing for us to remind ourselves of uh, and say so for me three things I like about myself I like that I have blue eyes. I feel lucky to have blue eyes. I like that I have blonde hair sometimes. And I like that I have a booty. Even though it's a little big right now and I'd like it to go down, I do like having a booty. So I'm not gonna complain about it. So what do you like about yourself? Comment down below and then I will uh, announce the winner to the person who ever won on the first. So you have until the end of this month to enter and then I will pick a winner randomly at the first of the month. All right, guys, take care, and until I see you again, bye.